Hello, 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 and happy Monday to all of my Aquarius, gods and goddesses. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with a very special reading on today. Happy Monday. Hopefully you all are having a fantastic Monday, but then again, I know you are because that's the intention you set. Aquarius, yes, Aquarius, we are moving towards this full moon and we have four planets that are retrograde right now. One, which is one of your ruling planets, Saturn. So we're going to talk about that and we're going to get right into your reading. We're not going to be doing any numbers today. Check back on Sunday for numbers. Yes, let's get into it. With most high God in the universe, please give me a special reading for my wonderful gods and goddesses and Aquarius. Yes, who are open minded humanitarians who are also very creative, free spirited, intellectual, progressive, original, independent, unique, friendly, powerful water bearers who know that they are gods. Yes, they are creators. Yes, they can call things into existence. Yes, indeed, including peace and harmony and love and all those other wonderful things in every area of their lives, specifically in areas of power and intellect, money and wealth, creativity and emotions, and spirituality and where they need to take action. Yes. What information do we have for my wonderful Aquarius? Yes, water bearers, the bearers of truth. Yes, again, happy Monday to each and every one of you Aquarius. We're in the age of Aquarius. Yes, in the age of Aquarius. Like I said, we have four planets that are retrograde right now. Aquarius, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. I know a lot of you all are excited about that. And so it is time for you all to continue showing the world the real you. The fun-loving Aquarius, the Aquarius that is balanced out, who's not afraid to show their emotions, right? The Aquarius that's just like loves to have fun. <sighs> yes, a lot of wonderful things are happening uh, for you all. Oh, now y'all know I always talk about self-love, right? Self-care. Here we have the nine of wands, right? So a lot of you are coming to the end of a long and arduous path that you've been on. Here we have the ten of cups, right? Yes, we also have the lover's card. Yes. Uh-huh. We also have the three of swords. Let me move this around a little bit so we can make some room here. We have the queen of pentacles. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And we have the queen of swords. Yes. So listen, Aquarius, a lot of you all have been in relationships in the past with somebody that maybe you thought was your twin flame. And then they you realize, mm, nah, they weren't. They broke my heart, right? Because they were, they were intent on um, dehumanizing you, right? You know, getting you to come down off of your God, out of your God level of clarity, off of your throne. And with your God level of clarity to humanize you, only to turn around and dehumanize you. Hopefully you all are following, but then again, I'm talking to Aquarius, so I know you do. So, you may have been broken hearted, Right? But you, the moment you cried out and asked for help, like why, why, you could have asked the question why, your ancestors came to your rescue, right? They help you to get to the heart of the matter. So what that may have looked like for you is that, so whenever we come across people's paths, Aquarius, the universe is really trying to get us, trying to show us something, trying to teach us something in some way, shape, form, or fashion, right? So what the universe is trying to teach you in this particular spread right here was start to listen more to your intuition. Really, really tap into your intuition. See the Queen of Swords right here. The Queen of Swords is sitting on her throne. And again, you all are givers, so we're talking about divine masculine. So it doesn't matter if you identify as a man or woman, right? So you are a giver by default, right? But now you're no longer giving your energy and your time to a person who plays on your heartstrings. No more trauma bonding. No more of the, well, you know, well, into your spirit saying, I can help cure this person. I can help save this person. Remember, we are gods, but we are no one else's gods. You're not someone else's savior and they are not yours. So you're a lot more protective of your energy now, but you had you had to go through that long and arduous path that, that you went on, but there was a path of enlightenment for you, Aquarius. You had to go all the way back to your past life. You had to go back to your childhood. You had to go back to see 
um, why certain things happened to you in your childhood. A lot of you all have decided, I'm going to go sit down and really talk to a therapist. I need to unpack some stuff. I need to figure out why I give so much time and energy and attention to broken people. And I'm talking about hurt people who hurt other people. We're not talking about hurt people who are interested in being healed. Why do I give so much time and energy to people who don't even want to be healed? And they're looking to me as a crutch. They see healing all over me. They see that I'm a healer, but they're looking to me to heal them. But it's not even real wanting to heal them. It's more or less like, let me see how I can connect to the Aquarius so that I can give the appearance or give the impression that I want healing. But why wouldn't they go to, even if Aquarius, even if you were a therapist, a psychiatrist or a psychologist, you are not their therapist, psychologist or psychiatrist. You see what I'm saying? So why wouldn't they go to somebody outside of you, even with all your healing energy? Why wouldn't they go and put the work in before even coming into your life? But what you had to learn, Aquarius, was that there's a part of you that has to take responsibility as well. The part of you that has to take responsibility is why did not listen to my intuition first? My intuition told me that that person was off out of, out of sync, out of balance. We were not on the same frequency. So that's what it created in you is this person who is still very friendly, someone who is still very approachable, someone who is your energy is now balanced out. You had to go through that very hurtful relationship to teach you how to balance out your own energy and listen to your intuition first, the God in you, right? So now you are listening to your ancestors, right? Your ancestors will constantly remind you, mm -mm. you met this new person, this person exhibited a lot of the, the same traits that someone who broke your heart was so you're not operating in flesh like oh gosh i haven't been in a relationship in a long time this person seems like they're nice maybe we can make this thing work your ancestors will keep coming back to you reminding you no nah, this person is in a this person came in a different body but their energy their spirit is just like the person who broke your heart that person could have been a family member it could have been an ex-romantic relationship it could have been a disparate you're spotting things right away right you're, when you get frustrated, Aquarius, and feel like, well, how come I can't meet somebody? And, and where is my soul tribe? That's the time for you to keep busy, volunteering, doing other stuff because those people are out there. You have to get to a place where you don't have one foot in it and one foot out of it. You have to be completely, totally committed to moving forward, right? And so this is you getting to the heart of the matter because there's a lot of money at stake here, right? When I say money at stake, this is money is just money is just energy. It's just like energy, like people and time. Those are just resources. So the emphasis is not 100% on money, even though you do need currency to pay your bills, to put, a, you know, have a roof over your head, the whole nine yards. But to have a completely balanced out life, this right here is energy right here. Even though this is a big coin right here, this is big money right here. Your energy is very healing energy, Aquarius. So when you got to the heart of the matter, you realize, hey, I need to protect my energy because there's too many people out here that would really appreciate my healing versus the people that I've dealt with in the past who only wanted to exploit my healing abilities. Right, Aquarius? So, yes. So, let's pull some more cards, right? So, this is how you're going to continue showing the world the real you. Don't worry about the naysayers, the people who talk about you behind your back. If the ex is talking about something, don't listen. If they're still talking about you behind your back, it's a reason why they're back there. you already in the next chapter. You don't live there anymore. So, they can talk about you all day long. It wouldn't matter. So, yes, let's focus on, let's focus on um, what else the cards have to say. Like I said, numbers. Numbers will be on Sunday. Yes, this is a straight message for you, Aquarius. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes, like I said, your ruling planet right now is, I mean, your ruling planet, one of your ruling planets, Saturn, is retrograde right now. And that's the planet of ambition, right? And so you can be still very, very ambitious in helping people. You can decide, hey, you know what? I do want to open up a domestic violence center. Yes, I do want to open up a homeless shelter for homeless people. What do you need for that? You need time, you need money, and you need energy. Time, 
money and energy. Energy are other people, right? So you're going to connect with other people that's going to help you get there. Maybe at some point you need to hire some therapists for some people. You're genuinely going out there helping. So now is the perfect time for you to focus on your um, focus on your um, your your ambitions, your your ambitions and goals, right? That's what's going to make you the happiest, right? You want to stay in this posture at all times, a posture of happiness, going outside, getting some grounding. For some of you, you all are cuspers, right? On the cusp of Aquarius and Capricorn. So if you're in the cusp of Aquarius and Capricorn, grounding is going to be good for you too. Being out in the air, putting your feet in the, in the dirt, putting your feet in the grass, going on nature walks the whole nine yards. If you're an Aquarius, just being out in the air, period, is going to help you, right? Mercury is retrograde, right? This is magician card. So you don't have to overthink it. You don't have to over talk it. You've been through enough with enough people in your entire life to all at this point to completely understand how all of this works. This is where you're going to get your fire back. This is where you're going to be feeling magnetic, happy, free, just on fire. This is what I'm talking about. This is about to happen for a lot of you all right now. Why? Because you have ascended. You have ascended. You have done the decluttering, internal decluttering. You're not fixated on the why, the who, the when, the what, the where from your life. You're like, okay, got it. I put it in, in its proper place. And I'm moving forward, right? Onward and upward. This is where you are, Aquarius. Mercury, like I said, is retrograde until tomorrow. And then it goes station direct. So there should be no more issues with communication. You've already had the self-talks, the whole nine yards. This is where, boom, you coming out towards this full moon, showing the world the real you. Saturn, like I said, one of your uh, ruling planets, retrograde. Then Jupiter is also retrograde. Jupiter went retrograde on yesterday. It's the planet of philosophy, good luck, and good fortune. A lot of things are spinning in your favor, Aquarius, right? And so, like I said... When you were in a relationship with somebody, you were just kind of sort of over it, like really, really just over it. The heartbreak, the drama, the this, that, and the other. Y'all are over a lot of relationships with family members who have just taken, who have really played on your emotions, right? Some of you all have, may have Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio in your chart. And in that case, yeah, you are an emotional person, but they have caused you to vibrate low in some instances by playing on your emotions. But now, as soon as you cut those people off and you focus on balancing out your own emotions, this is your, your, both of these are your hands, dark, light, seen, unseen, known, unknown, good, evil. These are your hands right here. Once you worked on balancing out your own energy, you were like, you know what? It's on from here. It's on, onward and upward from here. Yes. So like I said, and that makes you so much more attractive. So listen, Aquarius, if you're interested in being in a romantic relationship with people or even having being in a new soul tribe or creating your own soul tribe, the first thing you got to do is balance out your own energy. You don't even have to overthink it or overspeak this thing because you've already lived it right? So that's how you usher in your new soul tribe of people. And during those times when you start to feel like, okay, you're getting a little weak, you're thinking about this person and the heartbreak and everything that it caused, immediately busy yourself with something that you love to do because it's going to garner you a lot of money. It's going to garner you some free time because again, this is part of the decluttering. There has to be very, very intentional, the decluttering process. Like I said, Pluto is retrograde right now along with Jupiter, Mercury, and Saturn. But Pluto is going to be retrograde until October the 6th. So there's still a lot of cleaning, internal cleaning and around you that's being done. And like I said, once the full moon comes, um, which is in a couple of days, and you're showing the world the real you and you're prepared to move on some from some relationships because once you start really really being in full Aquarius mode, I'm going to tell you Aquarius, there are going to be some more people who drop out of range. But you got to be prepared to move on, move forward. You're not going to lose the beauty and the romance of life. And then I don't want you to be too much in your head. You want to really get into your heart. The heart of the matter is, like I said, getting to the heart of the matter. Don't be in a head space where you're feeling like, oh gosh, well, you know, uh, this is my family and I, you know, and, and you only get one family. That is absolutely not true. Whoever came up with that was just ridiculous. No, that is absolutely not true. You can create your own soul tribe. You can create your family unit. You can create it of people that's on your same frequency. So let's pull an oracle card and see what this has to say. Connect with fire. 
Yes, the fire inside of you. A lot of you all have Aries, um, Leo, or Sagittarius in you, some of you all. But this is where you're going to connect with the fire. The sun, connect with the sun, which is fire, right? Connect with that, that energy, that heat. The sun actually is not only medicine. If the, if the sun wasn't here, nobody would have, there would be no life form on earth. But the sun is also vitamin D. It also um, helps lift your mood. So get out there. Put your feet in some sand. Put your feet in some dirt. Put your feet in some grass. Go for a nice nature walk on a sunny day. When I tell you it's going to remove all that stale energy and keep yourself busy so when certain um uh, uh, things pop up in your mind about who broke your heart in the past, hey, turn the channel, turn the channel, turn the page, move forward, decide, hey, listen, I'm not going to be sad today. Just say it. Today is a great day because that's the intention I set and just move forward. But yes, you're moving forward into just showing the world the real you Aquarius and this is great. So when I say complete balance out, I'm talking about complete balance, completely balanced out. So this is what I'm seeing for you and it makes you so much more attractive to people that's actually on your frequency so you'll meet people on a higher frequency you'll meet your new soul tribe you'll meet if you're interested in dating someone you will meet somebody that you will consider as a twin flame why because you've already been this person right here queen of swords You've already decided, I'm listening to my intuition. I don't care how nice and sweet a person coming into my life is. If my intuition tells me, nope, not that person, I'm cutting it off quickly and I'm moving forward. I'm not giving it a second thought. I'm not going to sit in it. I'm not going to say, well, well, maybe if I had given that person a chance, maybe I would, I cut them off too soon. And, and maybe even, even if the person had called you a runner, it wouldn't matter what they called you. Hey, listen, I saw something in that person that didn't sit well with my spirit. I'm moving on. The end. That is what I have for you, Aquarius. Have a fantastic Monday. But then again, I know you are because that's the intention you set, right? Bye.